Hello Ratbags, welcome to the J Plays Games Art News. Got a bunch of different things to go through today guys. We're hopefully going to go through some fixes so you can get past the Snapshot 10 issue that's been affecting PlayStation 4. And when you do that, you do lose your Explorer notes and your skins. We're going to see if there's a way to actually get them back as well. Also super exciting, we're going to be speculating about what the new Dino dossier is going to be launched on Friday. Plus a look at some of the other issues and problems you've been facing on console, particularly dedicated. And we will be wrapping up just a tiny little bit more extra info about duping and how it's going to be changing when the game goes official. So some of the biggest problems you're facing now on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox for the last six weeks has been the player dedicated issues with servers not working. According to Jack, the Player Daddy fix should arrive around the same time as console servers, if not just before it. Wildcard itself does not profit from making console servers, it's just something additional we're planning to support. And that's in reply to many people are trying to say that the actual problems with the dedicated servers are on purpose so people go and rent one out. However, I don't necessarily think that's true. I've said it many times, dedicated servers have never been reliable. Sure, there's a couple servers that have never had that many problems, maybe only had to deal with one or two wipes, but I can bet you they never fall and they never like build up their servers, they don't have a lot of things going actually on. It seems to be whenever dedicated servers get lots of stuff going on on servers, it will just crash and wipe. And if you don't know, dedicated servers for Xbox and PS4 could be coming before launch on the 29th of August. Now, the Trado, the actual server hosts, have stated that they weren't going to be ready until the actual full launch of the game. However, Jat has previously tweeted saying they would be available between the 10th and the 20th. So, fingers crossed, if it does come between the 10th and the 20th, it will fix all the problems with dedicated servers, and it means that you've got the choice whether to carry on running your server on a dedicated console, or make a decision to maybe rent one out in the future. So just a couple FYIs before we get into the speculation about the new Dino dossier and what one it will be. If you noticed, obviously, since the latest updates for console, the centre map, now it's locked, doesn't actually contain the boss fight of the dragon. They removed it only a couple months of implementing it. And with that removal comes the fact you cannot unlock all the tech engrams. It looks like that's not going to change. According to the creator of the actual map, he doesn't actually decide what actually goes in terms of the engrams or any of the sort of things that you unlock. It That's all up to Wildcard. He says, honestly, it's not up to me, sorry. I believe the plan is not to have everything unlockable on the centre. So the centre really truly is meant to be an additional thing that you can unlock. If you do it the way Wildcard want you to do it, you would have already completed the island. And in that respect, hopefully you would have unlocked every single tech engram before moving on to the centre map to complete that map. There is a brand new achievement for the centre map, which is defeating the guardians of the centre map. So, if you exclusively play on the centre in a single player, go ahead and just spawn them items in that you're missing, because you're not going to look like it's going to be added naturally. So, Jupin. The issue isn't resolved just yet. There are still thousands and thousands of items spread across the major alpha tribes that have been duped. Developers admit they cannot actually chase all of these items up. They have had a massive purge and they went and wiped a lot, a lot of the tribes that had some of these duped items. And this affects Xbox and the PS4. So what is the plan with duping? How are they really going to combat it? What are the changes they're going to be making? According to Jack, the main way in which people are duping comes down to one fundamental thing, which we are currently in the progress of fixing. It takes a while, but should be ready and tested prior to the official release of the game. Obviously, there have been many ways to exploit this dupe, which is what has made it so widely accessible, but those ways are being patched out quickly when they're identified. Mind you, we did have that large lull when the focus was the offline version of the game. While they were getting the disc version ready, they did take their eye off the ball and it led to rampant duping across the whole of the Xbox network and PS4 has continued to lead to have that as well. If you don't know, duping normally involves basically resetting the server or shutting the server off and that can be caused by lots of different ways. People can do it with DDoS attacks and there's other ways purely in game where you do not need any type of outside material or outside sources to actually do that. It looks like this fix is only a few weeks away though. According to Jack, the technical fix we're working on should prevent it altogether and the state of the new servers be much better versus the current. 
probably won't ever identify all the duped items on the current legacy servers, nor would we want to spend the time to when we could spend it on resolving the problems, crashes and optimising the game. We won't identify each tribe that had maliciously done it versus a tribe which had done it by accident. If you're looking for a more fair and competitive experience and a fresh start, then I would recommend playing the new servers where they're available at launch, as the hackathon mess that has existed on the official servers will not be continuing there. End of the day, it boils down to their decision that they reversed at the last minute not to wipe the servers. And for me, it's clear they should have wiped the actual old servers. The way it seems to me at the moment is that they want people to migrate to these brand new servers and it saves them having to do any extra work or putting any extra resources in trying to sort out the mess. Which is a shame for the legitimate players that have never done duping and wanted to continue on legacy servers. But I will say this now, when the game goes live and these new servers are on, expect them all to be very full. If you can get on, I suggest making sure that you're well prepared and you've got a tribe and you've got people that are always on the server. Not only will all the new players be looking at these new servers, it is going to be filled with all the old alpha tribes. Even the ones that have duped, even the ones that are completely alpha on the old legacy servers, they will definitely want to be taking a brand new server by storm. And I'm sure they think in some ways they might be able to find other exploits or other duping methods. So it's hopefully the bastards won't be able to do that. So the new Dino dossier is launching this Friday. Now, there is an end boss coming. It's been confirmed by the PS4 update which included the end boss has added. I spent a good few hours trying to unlock it. Obviously I wasn't successful or you would have seen the video by now. The code for it is not currently available on PC because people would be able to go through the dev kit and actually unlock it. Is this what they're talking about when they release a new Dino dossier? Initially when I heard this I did say I thought it was going to be the end boss. However that would take away a lot of the hype from day one finding out what it was. The Indominus Rex is really popular in lots of mods and I'm not too sure whether or not it was found in the core files and modders have taken it and ran with it or whether or not someone has actually just simply reskinned it and redid it from a normal base dinosaur. Let me know what you know about the Indominus Rex. I know lots of YouTubers have covered it, so I don't need to know which YouTuber showed it off. Just give me some extra information about whether or not you've seen it in the dev kit. I did have a little look, but I couldn't actually find it in the list of the creatures. Other people have been saying it was going to be the Phoenix. It's not the Phoenix. The Phoenix was definitely cancelled. If they're adding it to the game now, I don't know if anyone would be that excited. I don't know. It depends on what mechanics it's got. I love the idea that if you lose your phoenix, maybe you can collect its ashes and maybe you can actually grow another egg. It would take lots of time, but that would be a really cool thing to have. And by the way, it says new dossier. It doesn't actually say for what map or what mode. It could be something as part of Ragnarok. They did tease in their actual gold community crunch last week that there will be new features and then be new something exciting added to the Ragnarok. Is it the Swarm? This is another creature that has been completely forgotten about. Could this be the part of the end boss? Is it just a simple, more like an alpha creature that roams around? Nothing has been done too much about it and I've not been able to find out any extra information about what would actually happen with this creature. As you can look at it, it can see there's lots of little small things that are meant to pop out of its back. Pretty much like uh, Megal uh, the bugs and the insects at the moment. However, I don't think the swarm really fits in with the end game. And lastly, is it what I think it is? And I've been showing you guys for weeks and weeks now. I truly still think the end boss is going to be a mix of these sort of tech, uh, pixelated, robotic-like creatures. I think Matthew Braith recommended this or said this, suggested it, that maybe it's not four of them, it's one, and it simply just changes into each form. You can see the dodo version, you can see the gorilla, and you can see the wyvern. So maybe that's how it works, with the red core being the actual heart and beating soul of this creature. I still think that's part of the actual end boss fight. So, out of them choices, put them down in the comment section what you think it is. Okay people, so you've been having the problem with the Snapshot 10 while trying to connect to online servers and Ark Survival Evolved. So, what do you do to fix it? Now, I've covered this in multiple videos I've shown you on the patch notes exactly what the wildcard team have said to do 
when that happens you lose all access to your explorer notes and your skins you have to go and get them all over again you won't lose your character your character level stays the same but you will lose all of them unlockables is there a way to fix it let's try it out and test it so you can see I'm in my world right now we're gonna test a ch so you can see we're in my world right now let's test a few things when you delete your single player save data it'll actually get rid of your map progress as well so you can see I've got the two spots there so I've got this explorer note right here Kentrosaurus we've just unlocked it now we've done that we're gonna exit out the game so if you go into your actual settings storage go to save data click on Arc Survival Evolved and you want to delete your local profile don't delete anything else make sure it's only the local profile you delete press the options click delete and boom once you've done that load up your game and hopefully if it's worked you should be able to join an online server or your single player etc etc you've noticed as well that my map has actually reset as well it doesn't show the two spots I showed off previously I do still however have my skins but I won't have the explorer notes when I click here in a moment you can see it's got rid of the Kentosaurus so that becomes a problem obviously if you've got all the explorer notes um, and you want all the map progress saved you're not going to be able to have that if you try this method to fix connecting to servers there is a way to fix it close the arc application and this time press options on arc click upload download save data and from your online storage click download all click apply to all so once that's done go ahead and load up your game once again so load up your game once more and you can see it's actually put me back to when I last logged on if we take a look at our map now you can see it's got the two spots that I had originally so it has worked in that respect that's what it simply does you're just simply loading up your save data from a time hopefully before the actual issues you've had with trying to connect onto a online server it may not work for everyone but I'm hoping that the first issue where you can actually connect to servers it works and it means you can actually play the game where you want to play it whether it's online servers or single player and if you want to try and get your explorer notes back you want to try and get your map and your uh, skins back as well then hopefully that method I just showed you there might actually work give it a go and let me know if it does or it doesn't if it doesn't it's probably because your save point is too too soon if it does work it means it's because your save point was before the update and lastly I know lots of you've been having problems with your server settings every time you load up the game they basically reset and that's for dedicated servers and lots of you have been having the same problem for single the fact is there is no real fix for this as yet I've tried a bunch of other things I couldn't really get anything to work so for now as annoying as it is you're gonna have to change your server settings every single time you load up if they keep resetting obviously if you run a dedicated server though you shouldn't have to do it too many times as your dedicated server I presume would be on 24 hours 7 this and all the other issues will hopefully will get a proper hot fix so you don't have to go through this palaver and that is pretty much it for the arc news I hope that's helped out I'm hoping that that's fixed things for you guys hold on for the dedicated fixes they will be coming soon and hold on for the snapshot 10 issue to actually hopefully restore anything remember it's up to you whether or not you choose that snapshot 10 resolve if you really cannot connect to your servers and you're desperate to get back on it may be the only way for now I'm Jay Place Games. I will see you rat bags later on.